We begin with breaking news this afternoon. Another disturbing incident at a Bay Area school. Just a few hours ago, a child, we're told, only 12 years old, was stabbed by another student at a San Francisco middle school. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Larry Beal. And I'm Kristen Z. The stabbing happened just before 1 o'clock this afternoon at Francisco Middle School. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim joins us live now with the latest. Dion. Larry and Kristen, all of this, according to multiple sources and students I spoke with today, was over an altercation over a video game. And we saw, while classes are out for the day, there was a brief lockdown after the 12-year-old boy was stabbed in the back in the library. We saw a number of parents pick up their children early, but many finished out the remainder of lunch and afternoon classes. Along with students, I talked with a parent who is fed up and plans to transfer her daughter to another school after claims of other safety concerns. He took out a kitchen knife and just stabbed someone in the back. I was just very scared. I was like concerned for my friends and classmates. It's too much like the kids are out of control. They're not getting the resources that they need. They're not getting the support that they need. Like it's it's bad right now and nobody is paying attention to like what actually needs to happen at this school. <laughs> Now, I also spoke to a San Francisco Unified School District spokesperson who said all proper protocols were taken after the stabbing. She said there is no active threat to the school at this time. And then I asked her what other measures were in place to keep kids here safe. Francisco Middle School and all of our middle schools have many wellness supports available for students and so we know that coming out of the pandemic, this has been a very difficult time for students and that schools are working on rebuilding their communities. Back out here live where a number of students are being let out for the day. SFPD confirms that the juvenile suspect has been detained and they appear to still be at the school. The investigation is ongoing.